In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the options that are out there for your shock. We'll start with a regular bushing. So this is your standard bushing, what you get out of factory, or this is what comes installed in your shock. And it's, it's a type of polymer, it'll tend to wear out. And so when it does that, that's when you get your, your the plate back on the on the rear suspension, you're like, what's going on? Are my pivot bolts loose? That's usually the first uh, place that people check, not realizing that it's this just little piece that goes in your eyelet. It goes pressed in there, and um, it, it just gets worn over time. The interface in between the the, the bushing uh, will tend to just um, develop play, and so when you pull on your Rear suspension, that's, that's the play you see. So that's the first option. That's normally what it comes in your uh, most bikes from factory. You, yeah. um, then a lot of people tend to upgrade to this uh, polymer bushing. Uh, supposed to create less friction. And basically it just, it just takes the, you know, the place of this one. And it's supposed to last a little bit longer. I guess bushings are made out of a similar material. It's like a plastic. You have other options. Uh, this is your standard eyelet for the bushing. It's just... This is for an eight millimeter bolt. Normally this will go right through here and then your bolt will go right through here. This is what a normal bushing interface will look like on uh, most bikes. For those of you that have older models of bikes and uh, wanna slacken out the head angle and you know play with your geometry a little bit and uh, your uh, geometry does not allow you to do that, there's the option of offset bushings. It's order from uh, site out of the UK, called offsetbushings.com. See, they, they move on to a, a stronger grade metal. And what they do is, compared to your regular bushing, where the hole is actually uh, bored right through it, it's offset by a couple millimeters. And you would think it doesn't make much of a difference, but usually you get about 0.5 degrees of slackness by just using one of them. So if you use the two of them, on both sides you you can get up to uh, a whole degree that's with a an a millimeter bolt if you were to have a six millimeter like in all the frames you actually get about 1.5 degree um, difference in the slack angle of your bike and uh, if you were to have a 10 millimeter you will actually have a little bit less so you can play with that and this is this is one of those parts that we normally don't pay a lot of attention to they do wear out usually depending on how much you ride and third option is uh, needle bearings and this particular one is it's made by abi it looks very similar to this uh, regular one right where you won't be able to play with the geometry of the bike one of the benefits that needle bearings have over regular bushings is that your bushing tends to ride on well you guessed it, needle bearings. Those are the needle bearings. So they just rotate and you know, with a little bit of grease, there's a lot of friction. And, and so if you're looking for your bike to have more suppleness off the back and, and more sensitive to small ball compliance, I highly recommend going with the, with the needle bushing unless you're actually trying to change the geometry. My Super Deluxe, I'm able to install the offset bushing, which is great. I can slacken the head angle, but the tolerances are too tight for the damper body where it will hit the frame. Whereas with the Monarch Plus, see the changes from generation to generation. See how the eyelid is a little bit longer, still the same diameter, 50 millimeters, uh, standard for rock shock. This does allow me to shorten the eye to eye, which is basically what it's doing. When you slacken the head angle, it just shortens the eye to eye. And so 216 by 63 millimeter, in theory, when you put the offset bushings, you have the same eye to eye as a 210 by 55 with a longer stroke length. So you're able to increase the travel of your bike. Granted that you're, you know, you're able to have the clearance for it. So I wanted to show you also the difference between a regular bushing, just like this one, right? With where you have the friction and a needle bearing. You clamp it down the device and uh, we'll see how much friction there is. There's a lot of friction, as you can see. It takes a while. To, or it takes a lot of force, which your body weight should be able to compensate for it. That's what it's designed for. But the whole thing's not moving. See, you actually have to put force for it to rotate. It won't do much. All right, but you, you're able to see how freely it moves. It's actually not even, you can't even hold it in place. So that is a needle bearing for you.
Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, just drop them down below. Uh, I plan on posting more videos like this one. Uh, you don't find a lot of this uh, information out there in some of these channels. So I say, hey, what the hell? Let's put it out there. And uh, I'm pretty sure people are always looking for, uh, you know, how to do upgrades on your bike. And that's, that's the cheapest upgrade you can do uh, as far as suspension on your bike. So. Any comments, just drop them down below. See you on the trail.